These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Now Holds and Proud of Phoenix Media. We got a really great game tutorial today. We're going to talk about how to use Pop Starter, which is a PlayStation 1 emulator to play PS1 games on your modded PS2, whether it's a mod chip or maybe using uh, free make boot, for example. So how does this work? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website here. It's called Assembler Games. There's a link in the video description. And there are certain things I want you to download. I want you to download the Q2 Pops. Go ahead, download this GUI file. Then also download the Pop Story Revision 13, the stable version. And then if you want to, go ahead and download the beta version as well. And today's tutorial, we're going to focus solely on the USB method. But uh, maybe in the future, I'll do some other methods like internal hard drive and SMB. If you're curious, you can click on the compatibility list here. And it'll show you all the list of uh, different games that are compatible with the USB method. Okay, so we got those files downloaded. One other item is if you're doing the USB method, you got to go on Google and find this file called pops.pack. Basically, it's a Sony file. I cannot distribute that file. I can't link it. So all I can say right now is just use Google and find it. And um, I'll show you how to use it in a second here. So next thing you want to do is go ahead, get your PS1 game files ready. I have a PS1 game that is already uh, in the bin queue format, so that's what you want. If you have an ISO or some other format, you may need to mount it using like um, um, Power ISO or Magic ISO or ISO Buster, for example, and then convert those to a bin.q because this will become very important as we'll soon find out uh, shortly here. And of course, you want a USB thumb drive or external hard drive that is formatted as FAT32. So let me show you what that file structure looks like real quick here. So, you got an external hard drive formatted as FAT32. What you want to do is make a folder called POPS, all capital letter, P-O-P-S. Inside here, this is where, I'll, let me just talk about it real quick. So these folders here are created when you run the game for the first time. This is where the PS1 emulated save files go. Next is called as PFS underscore wrap dot bin. Where did that come from? So um, inside the POPS starter, this is the 05 edition. So what I do here is I go inside here, get this PF, PFS underscore wrap dot bin, take it out and put it over here. So I want to replace it. So we need that file. And then from the beta file from the pop starter, the 06, I'm going to go ahead, get that pop starter that elf, and I'm going to drag it out to the root here. And we'll talk about that later on. Also, here is the pops dot pack. This is what you need to go to Google and find it. So once you have that, Put that in your pops folder as well okay so now back to the main tutorial here i have these games that are already converted to dot vcd format i'm going to convert another game to show you the process so just to recap real quick here because sometimes it can get confusing on your hard drive you need a pops folder inside the pops folder you need this dot bin file you need the pops dot pack and then now we're going to convert your games so we're going to go to the q2 pops so go to q2 pops Get that GUI program and put in the same file uh, folder as the rest of these files here and run that program. So in this program here, it's going to ask you what is your input and output. So the input, we'll click on open, navigate to wherever you have your PS1 uh, games. So I'm going to go uh, to my desktop here and I'm going to click on the Q file, click on open. And then on the output, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make and match the name of this game right here. So output the VCD, so I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to my external hard drive, go to the POPS folder and let's give it give it the name, Marvel vs. Capcom. And then click on save. And then click on convert now. And now it's gonna be in the process of basically converting the game from binq format to the .vcd format, because that's what the POPS emulator uses. Once you have the .vcd game file, so I'm gonna let this run in the background here. Let's go back to um, the external hard drive. Okay, so we have this popstar.elf. What you want to do now is we got to rename it in a very specific notation. So I'm going to press F2 here. And I'm going to say XX. And now I'm going to call it the name of the game. So make sure it matches your .vcd file. So it's like Marvel vs. Capcom. And I don't think this matters, but... Um, I always just make the, the rest of it lowercase.elf. Okay. And now what happens is when you um, 
play this on your PS2 using ULaunch Elf. You select these Elf files, and then it will start your game. And I'll show you how that works in the next portion of the video tutorial. So we go back to here. It's still doing its thing. Okay. If you want to keep this a little bit more organized, you could make a new folder and call this like um, whatever you want. Like, um, I don't know. Elf. Oops. Elf files. And you could move all these Elf files into here, but I'm not going to. I'll leave that up to you guys. Whatever you want to do to keep your hard drive nice and tidy. Basically, the bottom line is we're going to use the ULaunch Elf program to run these Elf files manually. If you're creative enough, you could also use the FMCB configurator program and map a shortcut to the home page of FMCB and run these games directly as well, pointing to the respective Elf file. So here it is. It's done. Cool. So we go to the Pops folder. We see that here's my new Marvel vs. Capcom.vcd. And then uh, that's pretty much it. We got the pops.pack, the bin, the VCD files, and the respective .elf files. So now, so now all you got to do is go over to your PS2 and get ready to have a lot of good time. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of the video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so this next portion of the video, let's show you how the pop starter works with my USB hard drive. There it is connected to my PS2 Slim. Okay, so let's go to ULaunch Elf, press X. It's going to go into the ULaunch Elf program. Once that is done, we're going to navigate, so I'm going to press circle. I'm going to go down to mass, circle, and I'm going to navigate to one of these games here. I'm going to select Marvel vs. Capcom.elf and press circle. And at this point, it's going to load the emulator, and we'll see the PS1 boot screen in a second here. Awesome, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I've already played this once already today, so I already have an emulated save game file on here. But when you, depending on your game in question, um, it will automatically make that save game folder for you, and you can save your your files automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pick a match real quick here, show you how the performance is on USB using pop starter it's pretty awesome um, if you guys want a future tutorial about how to do this on network or internal hard drive let me know okay so let's go ahead battle um, it loads pretty well this particular game runs great other games may not run so great so it sort of depends on your game in question All right, let's see. Spider sense is tingling. Is ready? So that is the video game tutorial in a nutshell. You guys have any nitpicky questions? Leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.